Snastruck. A few months ago, I made a video of every Super Nintendo basketball game ever made, including Super Famicom, but it would appear that I forgot one game, Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. Okay, so this game isn't a basketball game, it's a platformer where you whip basketballs at enemies and dunk for some reason or another. As you can see, this game is pretty dang weird. Its primary objective being to explore huge levels, find keys, unlock new areas, and eventually rescue kidnapped players. What that has to do with Michael Jordan, or basketball for that matter, I'm not entirely sure, but the story is that Jordan's on on his way to his teammate Scottie Pippen's charity all-star game and they're all abducted by evil supervillain Maximus Cranium. Just cause he felt like it, I guess. And you go around unlocking doors and finding players. So yeah, this is actually closer to Michael Jackson's Moonwalker than it is to fellow basketball superstar Shaquille O'Neal's Shaq Fu, and that's probably a good thing. This game's not that straightforward though, there's 21 players you have to rescue spread out across the city of Chicago in five huge stages, each with five keys, that you need to find to unlock the next part of the map. The best part here is that you have these basketball hoops that inexplicably show up here and there throughout each stage and you have to dunk in order to obtain the keys or to get other power-ups. Despite how ridiculous this sounds, this is actually tougher than you might think, and believe it or not, it's actually kind of fun as far as platformers predicated on exploration go. No, it's not exactly Super Metroid, hell, it's not even Phantom 2040, but it's still not all that bad. I mean, as long as you're willing to embrace the absurdity this game presents. Like, why does Jordan have to keep his dribble going? What happens if he stops? Is he gonna get called for traveling? There's actually eight different basketballs or power-ups you can obtain. Your normal basketball projectile attack is unlimited, but there are limited quantities of stuff like homing balls, grenade balls, ice balls, and uh, baseballs that boomerang back to you? Okay, sure. You use all these weapons to fight mechanical spiders, these zombie things, the usual weird array of enemies culminating in boss fights. All pretty standard stuff in that regard. In addition to finding keys, there's puzzles you have to solve, sometimes in order to get the keys, and there's also these frustrating fake walls that you can break down. That's that's kinda cheap, but whatever. I should also point out that the controls here feel loose and slippery, and when you change direction, the camera jolts around a bit violently. It takes some getting used to. This isn't exactly Super Mario World, but hey, it's not exactly Bubsy either. Also, I should mention there's no battery save here, only passwords. Otherwise, yeah, Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City isn't nearly as bad as you might think before playing it. It's actually a reasonably well thought out game that makes you use your head a little bit. The further you get into the game, the more complicated the stages get. So if you're into 2D platformers that make you explore a bit, you'd like this game. Nintendo Power had it listed as one of the 10 worst games of all time, and that's just stupid. This game is perfectly fine. Don't let the weirdness of it scare you off. It's worth trying out.